<clears throat> Oops. Hello and welcome to another video of me feeding. Nah, I actually did pretty alright this game. Happy New Year. Uh, I said I was going to make some stuff uh, at the end of December, but that didn't happen. Um, so, you know, deal with it, I guess. Um, so, here's a tinker game. I random tinker. Uh, Drow insisted on going mid. Um, I didn't really feel like fighting over it, so I just went safe lane, which is nice, I guess. Um, our team composition is pretty garbage, to be perfectly honest. Um, we have no, we have, I mean, we have one support, I guess. And Clink Slaughter is not the greatest off lane. Uh, but their team, team comp is alright. Uh, I'm a little bit worried this game. I need to be careful of getting charged. Uh, it's really good against Tinker. Um, and as well as, uh, uh, PL usually builds a Defusal Blade, which is, um, is pretty bad against any hero, really. Uh, and Sniper, if he goes out of control, can be annoying. He can just hit me from ranges that I can't get into, even if I get a Blink Dagger. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, there's a fight mid. Uh, it doesn't really matter, though. It actually ends up going horribly for us. Um, I think someone on our team calls GG right away. Uh, so I worked with Soaring here. Um, because I'm not going mid, I end up getting. I decided to get two tangos uh, because I'm not going to go bottle this game. I don't think I'm going to be able to control the rune against the, the amount of people that are going to go to want to get the rune with um, Death Prophet and Sniper, <coughs> uh, as well as um, our Drow and most likely our Usher. I don't actually remember if he does it this game. I put it a while ago. Um, so Tinker got nerfed. Uh, like a year ago, I guess now, um, and he was he was very strong before that. But I I actually quite enjoy the hero. I, I ran him, so I had an, an extra extra amount of gold, so I could get two mangoes, which is super helpful. I'm a big fan of mangoes, if you haven't noticed. At this point, I just want to be last hitting. Hmm. There we go. That took forever. Um. So I decided to go. March and Laser Max to begin this game. Um, the March, just because of things like this, we can block people in and, and really harass them. Um, and also, uh, if I don't max March, then my mid game is a little bit stunted because it takes a lot longer for me to get online. Um, I'm not able to do the whole split pushing thing with bots and rearm. Um, and usually I actually go rockets because I think they're, they're more fun, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, but I don't this game. Um, because with Sniper and Barra, there's a lot of things that can kill me through auto-attacks. If I can uh, blind a Barra before he charges me, it means that he can't really do much. Just get some good harass out here. Um, it's a big benefit here having a Draw Ranger on my team. Um, really awesome to be landing as a ranged hero with a Draw Ranger. That bonus damage is really nice. <coughs> <coughs> Our top line actually goes pretty disastrously, um, and I'm not farming very well down here. I mean, it's a it is a it's a two v two, and our Earth Shaker does not provide the most in the lane. He makes me make sure that I can't get killed, but he he can't really harass them. And with the lane pushed and um, him unable to pull, him deciding not to pull, he thought he, I believe this is the game. He thought it was blocked, and then um, he just stopped pulling. So I'm going to rush bots here. Um, you kind of have to on Dinker. I see them over there. Uh, I'm a little bit afraid, but um, they can't really kill me. And if they dive me with Fissure and March of Machines, it always puts a lot of damage. It makes it very scary for someone like a sniper to really, really get into it. And I get denied here. Lay down a march here, and I blind him so he can't dive. If I was thinking, I probably could have blinded Sniper there instead. And I missed him with the last hit. The last little bit of um, march the machines did a little bit too much damage. Um, so with both of them missing, I want to push put pressure on the lane because I actually want to go and um, farm the jungle. I <coughs> sorry about that. I asked our Urshaker to be stacking um, our hard camp so that I could farm the middle of the jungle, but that didn't happen. Hold on here. 
I'm dying. <coughs> I muted the wrong thing. I apologize. Um, so I have my boots now, it means that I'm a lot harder to kill. Um, our game is not going, I mean, that terribly. Um, we're five minutes in. There's only about a thousand advantage um, for net worth, not even. And less on experience, which is awesome. Um, our draw range is doing a really good job mid. Uh, Death Prophet has a terrible time laning. Uh, I die here. Nearly positive. Oh, maybe I don't. No, I don't. Um, so they, they easily could have committed on that. Urshaker wasn't even close, but there's no way they knew that. Um, so at this point, I have to go back to base. Uh, I actually think about sticking around. Oh, do I stick around? I do stick around. Um, I have two tangos, and with the... That's right, I remember I had the, the mango heal, so I, I get an extra 2 HP per second. Yeah, which it really helps. It means I can stay in lane. And Tinker's uh, base regen is not terrible, so... And with the soul ring, really helps. So they're all both missing. Um, they're both fairly low, so I, I'm fairly confident that they're not going to die me, especially now that our, um, ES is back. It's fine. Uh, Death Prophet is missing at this point, so I'm a little bit terrified. Um, I think that a big part of this is I just need to be getting better last hits. I need to be at, like, 50 by now, at least 25. I just... My ability to last hit with Tinker is really terrible. Um... Admittedly, it's not the easiest win to last it against with a sniper and a barra. It means that I can get a lot of harass in and Tinker's not particularly survivable. But as you can see, I just miss them a lot of the time, so that's something I definitely need to work on still. <clears throat> um, so by pushing the lane out here... Um, I actually wanted to go and into the jungle, but I was there typing to my Earthshaker to ask if he had stacked, and he hadn't, so I didn't bother. I probably should have just went and stacked myself. Like, right here. I should have just gone into the jungle and stacked. I'm not sure. I just killed a bunch of fucking time, wasted my wasted my time here. And here, then I decide too late to want to go stack, and I miss the stack. It's just a disaster. Oh god, my tea's cold. Ugh. Gross. So yeah, I missed the stack, and I think I decided to just march it down anyways. <clears throat> Bear is missing. Um, I'm. I don't think they have any wards down. I don't think that Bear would do that. Um, he's probably playing fairly greedy. He wants to probably go like Mask of Madness, Treads, or some cheesy shit like that. Um, and at seven minutes, I'm fairly far away from my bot still. I could easily have them now if I had any decent CS. But thankfully, our Drow Ranger is still crushing mid. Uh, use my uh, soul ring there before I use my mark so I don't waste any mana. I have more HP regen than I do mana, so it's worth it to trade like that. Even though I can't go back to base. Earthshaker wanted something, I don't remember what it was. I think Drax. And our top lane is just feeding incessantly. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Um, so now that Bear is off the map, I hear him charge, and I didn't actually think it was on me. I thought it was on mid, but um, even the, even with hit, not me not knowing, um, so he can't really follow it up. Um, but I wanted to back up there. I probably should have done it earlier, but... With this sniper, I actually don't know what his item... Yeah, see, he didn't max shrapnel. He, if he had max shrapnel, it would have been a lot more trouble there. So at this point, I want to go stack the hard camp. I think I actually messed it up, but... Oh, yeah, right, no. I don't mess it up, but I see Avenge right there. I want to get a kill here. So I blinder, and then I put down my march. And I believe blue comes over here, and we secure this kill. Yeah. And there's not really much you can do here. Um, without his ultimate, uh, he can't kill me, per se. Uh, oh yeah, little note on my 
my skill build. Uh, because I wasn't close to my bots, I didn't think it was worth it. I didn't have the mana regen uh, to be able to go for my ultimate, so I just maxed March here. As you can see, I'm continuing to max laser. I think I probably should have gotten some into rocks at this point um, in preparation, but it didn't end up happening. Pop my soul ring, put down a march, and pop my laser. We get two kills here. Two kills we shouldn't have gotten. They were way they were playing way too far for how many heroes were off the map. Uh, so I stack this camp. I'm not actually sure if I get this correctly. Mine, I was not home, and I was not playing Dota um, at the time when the patch came out, so I, I have not learnt the stackings, but i almost positive that Slaughter messed that up for me, which is really frustrating. I was spam pinging him, because he did feed. I was upset. I'm not getting a lot closer to my uh, boots of travel here, um, so I just want to commit for it. I only need another five gold. Um, and the courier is going out, so I think I just head back to base. I might not. I'm not positive. Being here is really dangerous, actually. With a bear, it's very possible they have a ward in our jungle. Um, they don't end up having one. I couldn't decide what I wanted to go here. Um, I think I don't actually end up going Blink Tiger. I'm fairly certain I end up going Shiva's. Um, but I think Blink would have been fine. So 10 minutes into the game here, we can take a look at this uh, net worth chart. We have a 2k gold lead and a 2.5k experience lead. Um, hold on, I gotta turn off the preview on OBS. It's really freaking me out. As I'm just walking back to base, I can speed this up. Um, most of that is due to our jaw ranger just absolutely crushing this DP mid. Um, I'm farming evenly with the other two cores. Actually, I'm farming way better than uh, PL, but if we take a look at um, our net worth, PL's very close to me because he has so many, or has been involved in so many kills um, because our top lane is just feeding incessantly. Uh, so with my bots, now I get a point into my ultimate. It means that I can really just do the whole split push thing. If we take a quick, quick peek at items. Um, so our draw went for an early Helmet Dominator just to be able to get that efficiency. So I was going Armlet. Um, no one on their team has anything that can really catch me out. The only way that I die um, is just by overextending. Uh, I want to come in on this kill here because I think that I can get it. I don't think that I do actually. Oh no, I do. I do get. I get him with the march, which is really funny to me. I did not even realize he was. He stayed up there. He just dies, which makes me giggle. Um. So this is this is really where this is the bread and butter of Tinker. Um. Oh yeah, I do end up getting a late bottle uh, just because it increases my ability to stay on the map significantly um, and it speeds up my heal time and base so it's worth it um, I'm still undecided what I want to go here I think I do end up deciding to go Shiva's here yeah okay so I was gonna go blink dagger but against a Barra, uh, it's not actually that value um, because he can still just charge me through the blink so if I instantly blink through the trees if I stay any time on the map um, he can see me charge me and I can just die uh, so I decided that I wanted to be a little bit tankier this game um, and with our t team being incredibly squishy, save the Slardar, um, I didn't want to just be food all game. Uh, but, you know, there's a trade-off here. If I had gone Blink, uh, that's a kill I could have gotten right there. I mean, I don't have Blink yet, but that's the kind of thing. It just increases my kill potential su substantially. Uh, I still don't have any points in the rocket. I think this was a mistake, but I was just kind of on autopilot at this point. I'm going to toss down the march so we can get this tower. Or right after we get this tower. Um, a soul ring here, and then we get the kill, and I head back to base. Um, so what I really need to be afraid of here is TPing uh, into an area where I can't see any heroes, and they come out of fog and stun me or silence me. Um, with Death Prophet, Venge, and... Um, Barra, as well as the ability to chase from this PL, actually, I could really just die if anyone sees me, but what I need to do is keep a very good eye on the map and make sure that I'm going to lanes that mm, there are not heroes in. Um, so as you can see, no one's on the map here, so I get terrified and I TP out. I think. I should be. 
Maybe I don't. I should have TP'd out here. I stayed on the map for way too long. Maybe I do just die. Oh no, he just gets scared, right. So, that's another thing about Tinker, is that if you come into his march, especially because I maxed march, it's really terrifying for most heroes, especially someone as underleveled as this, um... how this bear is right now. Yeah, he's only level 6. So if he doesn't have really anything, um... in terms of items to help him survive, he only has treads. That's a really, that's a really good fissure right there. I was, this was right here was an unnecessary rearm, but and so because I have a bottle and I go back to base all the time, I heal up our clinks so that he can stay on the map a little bit longer. So again, at this point, my job really is just to split the map and make sure that uh, they can't death ball us with a drow and um, a clinks. We're not really good at taking team fights. Uh, and with their big ultimates like um, the Bear Ultimate and with Death Prophet Ultimate, they can really just control any five man engagement, even with a Tinker who does offer quite a bit in a five man scenario. Um, I just die. I just die to that amount of damage. So my job here is to just farm and make sure that uh, I create space and make sure that Barra can't charge anyone else but me. He needs to always be thinking about going on Tinker. So see three heroes on the map, good dude of list some really good warding there. I like that ward quite a bit. Um, and the second rock by the tier two is also quite nice, especially at this point in the game. One thing I definitely don't do enough is I don't rune um, past the landing stage with a lot of heroes, and I think that I should. There's a lot of value in that. We can see by, I mean, our Eternal Envy holds onto his bottle to like 50 minutes, so. Clearly he's an extreme example, but still. So I wised up after the last time. I saw I knew that I was on the map for too long, so Bear was charging me, but um, it didn't end up mattering because I TP'd out. So I'll go back to this tower because it's low. Uh, this is actually pretty risky, returning to the same lane. It's very possible that there's a hero defending, but I see three heroes mid, um, so I'm feeling fairly confident here. Staying in range might not have been the best idea. Uh, it gives Bear a lot of opportunity to make that decision. But I get the tower and I TP out. At this point, I'm, I'm closing in on my, uh, my Sheep's Guard here. I'm probably about 1,000 gold off, maybe two, um, which isn't that much. As you can see, Drow is still dominating the Austin chart, and as there's no safe lane for me to go to, I, I did not feel comfortable going back top. I just come in here and I've the jungle. I missed this timing. Uh, they change When they change the jungle again, I don't know how this works, but... I should be able to get both camps with one march, I'm fairly positive, um, but I just I just don't. I miss, Oh, there's no he creeps there. I lied. There's just no creeps, yeah. What are you going to do? Oh, there are creeps. Yeah, so I did mess it up. So there's a, there's a team fight mid, I don't have any mana, so I can't actually fight that. That, that is one downside to my, my farming. Um, and I want to go on this Venge, because she is one of the few heroes that can really lock me down. They lack stuns, so I want to make sure that she can't come into the fight. I get body blocked here by the creeps, uh, and then I just march this down. Um, but my team is actually doing okay here, but with them retreating, I'm in a very disadvantageous position. I think I do end up dying here. I get up here and I buy my, uh, yeah, I buy my Miska Staff, and then I just end up dying. It's just a mistake. I, I definitely overextended on trying to chase that Venge down. And with this uh, this Peel having his uh, Diffusal Blade at this point, um, he's actually a, a pretty big problem for me. But he ends up dying, so it's a worthy it's a worthy trade. We get a, a three for one, I believe. And Draw Ranger at this point is just not paying attention to us. She's just farming. Which is fine. I'm just not caring about heroes and just going buck wild. Yeah, two on one. She's just pushing the map as much as she can. Being a nuisance. As draws do. 
Again, her draw aura is really quite good with Clinks and Tinker. I mean, Tinker does not right click that often, but I mean, I'm still doing 150 damage before reduction, obviously. Um, which is nothing to sneeze at. And with me going uh, a staff or a Mystic Staff. Mystic Staff? Yeah, Staff of Wizardry is the 1k one, one item, yeah. Um, <coughs> uh, it does actually increase my damage quite a bit. I stack here unintentionally, which is quite nice. Um, I probably could be pushing this lane, but everyone is missing off the map except for pink. Um, and with even though we have eyes in their jungle, I'm still a little unconfident. I get pretty low here because Hellbears, Hellbears hurt, yo. Um, so I drop in one more march. I actually wanted our Earthshaker to farm this. He didn't, but whatever. So now that I, ju I just recently saw three heroes on the map, it's unlikely that pink goes anywhere but bottom lane. Um, but even if it's just pink, uh, which is PL, sorry, um, that's a fine scenario for me to be in. Me is so close to this tower and him so far from his, it's very scary for him to go on it, especially because he does not know where the Clinks is at all times. So we're at into this game, we can take a quick look here. Yeah, so we have a we have a pretty massive experience advantage and cold advantage. And Drow Ranger just goes unreal here. Um at this point, the game is, is getting close to being over. It actually drags on for quite a, quite a bit longer. They do a very good job of defending their base, and we do a horrible job of pushing high ground. Um, it comes back to our issue where we don't really have that good of a frontliner. Slaughter is not that great of a frontliner with his sprint on, which he wants to have on in most team fights. He's just not very survivable. We had some internal issues. Um, Earthshaker and Jar Ranger did not get along. I think that. Power Ranger and Clinks were teamed up, um, but I'm, I'm not sure about that. So as you saw again, um, Spearbreaker was charging me, but he couldn't do anything because I, I cancel or I TP'd out. As soon as I do that, he's not going to chase me to the base. It's really all just about judging how much time you spend in lane. I pick up my plate mail where the courier is at the secret shop. I'm gonna press the wrong button there. I meant to soul ring and ended up um, rocketing. I'm a really good player. Dyer's top tower is under attack. So as, when this PEL is coming in, uh, even though we have some vision uh, and our slider goes in here. It's still a little bit scary because I can't see them. Um, he heals himself, so that's. I actually probably could have died there, um, but uh, I was trying to type what there, but I was struggling. Um, oh, bear was charging someone. Um, but yeah, he self heals. I don't really understand why. I think it was self heals, right? Yeah, it had to be. It's just weird. I don't really get it. I think I really just need to upgrade my efficiency here. Um, I do think I need to stack the jungle more in the early game. I think it would really let me get ahead and take over this game. And at this point, I'm really just interested in, in not fighting. Uh, I want to I wanna put as much pressure on towers as I can because I know that we're ahead. And in theory, uh, with a PL and a Death Prophet and a Sniper, they can outcarry us. Um, Drow's not the greatest in the ultra late game, neither is Clinks, and, and neither is Tinker, aside from his ability to perma sheet people. Um, and with the amount of lockdown they could potentially have, I mean, it's just a little bit scary. So my, my main issue here is I want to push towers. I want to I want to make sure that they can't take over the game. So I have my Shivas, which is just, it's another way for me to farm quicker, which is quite nice. 
Uh, I'm still debating on going. Uh, I think I think I want to go blink at this point. Um, even though I have, I have Dagon queued up because we were pretty far ahead, but I do think the blink is still a really good item on Tinker, and I I definitely should have gone at this game. I'm not. I think the reason that I didn't is because I, there's no very much follow-up initiation um, from my team. I mean, there, there's a Slardar and the Earthshaker, but they they use their spell, spells and run away, um, which means that it could lead me in a very awkward position where I'm stuck in a fight without anyone to help me. Um, and I really I really wanted to be a little bit tankier. Uh, I actually considered going Bloodstone for most of this game. Um, which I think is a build that Fly or Excalibur popularized, going like Bloodstone and Shivas. Um, I don't remember. It was, it was a while ago. Um, oh yeah, another good thing to notice, so it's 25 minutes into the game, and I'm second on its net worth, but it's still of under 1,000 health. Um, Tinker is a very squishy hero, which is why I wanted to pick up some armor. They're mostly physical damage, not magic, thankfully, so I don't need to get both. Um, but I do want to get something, yeah, so yeah, consider doing Bloodstone here. Um, but it's just, it's very good to notice that uh, I can definitely die very easily, even though I am quite far ahead. I only have one death at this point. Um, I do need to be a little bit careful. And we are quite far ahead. We can take a look here, 20,000. There-ish. Um, this game's not in the bag just yet. Uh, I think that, especially in pub games, people think that they're a lot further ahead than they are. Mm. Not the case, that people think that their their advantage is unthrowable. Um, and that's definitely not the case, especially with how good of cores they have and how weak of cores we do. Our draw dies, um, and he tilts in team chat, which is unfortunate, but that's just how it goes. Uh, that, as I mentioned, that second ward on that rock, that eye rock there, is, is very nice, especially when I'm trying to push tier threes. Sniper just now picks up his first item, I believe. Yeah, he was having a rough game. He's only level 11 and then level 15. I'm not even close to the highest level in the game. Um, oh, it's a good thing to note here. Spirit Breaker went for a um, he went for a blade now. Which means that he can hypothetically just stand. Yeah, he wants to kill me, or he wants to have me kill myself on him. But um, it's not that big of a deal. He's not particularly tanky, which makes it a lot less scary. Um, in theory, he could stick it out and die with me. He would try to, but it's very unlikely for a player to do that um, in a pub game because they don't believe in their teammates very much at all. At this point, I just want to spend my skill load as much as possible. Um, and really just apply pressure my team isn't so that we can get some towers because I'm feeling a little bit pressured here. Uh, with our drow dead, um, it can actually get scary. Um, and we don't have any teamwork, which means that pushing high ground is, is very difficult for a tinker. I mean, I don't have any tower damage. I just have the ability to kill creeps. So he pops his ultimate here. I think I might actually die. I'm a little bit scared here, so I wait until his, uh, his barbed armor goes. Barbed armor, oh man, I've been playing too much with the friend that plays on. And then I get out of here. Uh, he tries to assassinate me. Um, at point blank, which is kind of funny, but... Oh, maybe I do go blood zone this game. I don't remember. <clears throat> so draw solar Roshans. Um, with the Helmet Dominator, she can do that pretty much. Uh, with her uh, Frost Arrows, it makes it a lot easier. You don't take that much damage. Um, and she's got a BKB now, which makes her very scary in team fights. Uh, she's now ready to push high ground in theory. She doesn't. She actually just goes back and farms the jungle, which is the dumbest thing in the world, but. That's that's how it is, and this uh, the spear bear is going um, shadow blade, which I mean it can be an issue at some point for me, but it never ends up being one. I just chase him down. I end up dying here, I believe. I think I just suicide. No, no, I don't. I just buy my buy my wellstone before I die. But uh, I mean, there's five heroes there. Um, I shouldn't have been there, but I thought that I had support coming a lot quicker than I did. Uh, I think that in 
What I need to do there instead of committing onto that bear kill is I just need to back up. I got a little bit, a little get, uh, a little bit bloodthirsty is the word I'm looking for. Um, and I just ended up committing for the kill that I didn't really need to. Let's speed this up while I'm dead. Um, which is a lesson to learn. Pick up my bloodstone, make sure I'm at the right speed, yeah. I pick up my bloodstone, I want to come into this fight so I can just amass kills. Um, just stands in fights here. He's actually in quite a bit of trouble. There's a lot of physical damage from um, the Death Prophet Ultimate, but he commits for it. He's got an Aegis, so it's fine. Um, so I know that he's coming back up, and we have a we had a creep wave. We don't need more, so it's a little bit scary for me to stay here. But uh, this drow is very confident. They both are for it now. Also, to man at this point, and I, I did pick up a, a number of bloodstone charges, which is a really good thing. Uh, another good thing about Shiva's is that it slows um, attack and move speed. And between drow and me, we have a lot of potential just to chase people down. I don't want to commit to that. I'm out of mana, and I got rid of my soul ring, which means that I can't get that much of a burst heal. I just still have a mango, which is kind of funny. I think I actually might actually end the game with a mango, but um, that's always good. I should have gone bottom here. Uh, oh yeah, I want to go go for this kill here. I wanted this Drow Ranger to turn and fight, but she just died too quickly. Um, and then I think that maybe I can chase him down. Shiva gives vision, which is really awesome, but I, I don't get him, so uh, I just head back to farm. Again, still, getting a Blunt Dagger here is still a totally viable pickup, even as a third item. Um, but it is important to notice that because I now have level 3... Uh, Rearm, I can run out of mana very quickly, especially with this uh, this guy hitting me. He ends up dying. He just he gets a little bit too aggro here and just dies to a right click. I'm not really sure what he was thinking, to be perfectly honest, but that's what happens. Uh, great support there from Earthshaker. Really good hero against PL. So at this point, I'm fairly confident I'm getting charged because they're off the map. Um, but Sardar is there, and he actually might end up dying for this. I think he does. Yeah, and I just, I just abort. He got a little bit too aggressive, but he did save my life. So there is that. And I'm out of here. I'm out of mana, so I, I, it's faster for me to go back to base and TP back in. I, I do get a kill on the Spirit Breaker. He commits in to try to kill me with his, um, his blade mill, but he ends up just dying. Bottom tower is under pressure here. There's no reason for us to give up a free tower. It just gives them another way to get back into this game. So I come back bottom. Oh, I do a lot of shift killing as Tinker. So if you see me doing some weird things, it's probably why. We can speed up here. Um, so this game, uh, it kind of got the control thanks to this Drow Ranger. Um, but even without the Drow Ranger, uh, if my team had decided instead to just four man and for me to be on the side of the map or coming in when I or feel it's necessary. Uh, I think the game would have gone a very similar way. The only issue that would have been different is that killing this PL would have been would have been harder. Uh, we would have needed more commitment from my team. I hit an illusion there because I'm an idiot. Uh, and he tries to TP out and just gets stunned. Poor guy. At this point, I have 14 bloodstone charges, and I've just kind of run away. We really just won this game at this point. Um, so I guess we can just wrap it up. Um, I'll turn the volume down here. So I can just talk um, while this goes. Um, something about Tinker is that ah, I get a <laughs> I get his his item build is so wide open that it's often hard to make the right choice, um, and but equally as hard to make a, a definitively wrong choice. Um, getting a sheep is always nice because you have perma sheep with your rearm and sheep stick, uh, but it's not. It wasn't necessary. This game is they didn't have anyone that really needed to lock down. Uh, in theory, if if PL had ever really gotten off the ground or sniper for that matter, um, it would have been really awesome. I get to deny there. Um, 
I was upset at my team for being in the jungle. Uh, when we should have just been pushing high ground. We don't have a racks at 38 minutes with this massive a gold lead. I, I don't know why. But... Um, it ends up not being a problem. Uh, but having a perma sheep is, is really advantageous uh, at any stage in the game. But it wasn't necessary this game. And being able to put out as much AoE team fight damage is really what I wanted to do. Uh, so getting a Shiva's and... Um, even my max uh, March Machines build was 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 kind of geared towards that. Uh, the Agonims was just a cheesy pickup. I didn't need to pick it up, but it was no reason not to. Pick up a Dagon here, because why not? And then we win the game. Oops. Um... But yeah, I guess Tinker can really work in the safe lane. I think that what I needed to do differently this game, for the biggest part, was I needed to stack the jungle more, at least encourage Earthshake to do it quite a bit. Um, but that is something to learn for the next time. Uh, I ended up with a lot of kills, but that doesn't mean very much. Um, and my last hits could have been a lot better uh, had I been you know, decent at last hitting. I think that having, a, having your bots before 10 minutes is pretty important which I managed to do just barely, mind you, but um, aside from that, I think this game went okay. I sort of wish that uh, this PL had gotten a little bit bigger just so I could have seen what I could have done differently. I think that I would have needed, instead of going... Um, I think the Shiva's Bloodstone was fine. Instead of going Eggs Dag, and I would have needed to go to go Sheepstick just to be able to give my team a chance to lock him down with Clinks and... Uh, Drow Ranger and Ursa are going to clear out the illusions. We have a real chance um, of being able to just find the real one very quickly. Uh, Sniper was never a problem, but a good way to deal with him is with Blink Sheep as well. Um, but again, he wasn't an issue, and he's also very squishy. It means that getting in range to really attack me is is a is a bit scary for him. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, sorry if I sound a little down or depressing. Uh, I'm just sick and it hurts to talk. But I wanted to do this because I enjoyed this game. I think I might actually do another game right after this. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy it or not. Either way. Alright, peace out.